Gunnar Thompson with Oat Specialties, and today I want to talk about three things that I do before my upper body lifting session. So, most people, when they think of Oat Specialties, don't think about weight room or anything like that. Um, as we have explained in the past, we're, we're not anti-weight room, we're not anti-weights or anything like that. Instead, we just focus on the equipment that is a little bit underutilized in our, in our opinion, and things that can really enhance uh, from a sport-specific uh, plane. So, as a retired baseball player and someone that is not competitively, competitively competing as an athlete, uh, I do lift on a normal basis. I try to do, you know, probably four strength, strength training sessions uh, a week, uh, upper body and two upper bodies and two lower bodies. So, for me, being a former pitcher, my shoulders are kind of achy sometimes. So I do, I use three tools before I uh, lift for upper body every single time. Every single time, it helps me get loose. It helps me kind of stabilize that shoulder joint a little bit better. And then ultimately, it kind of increases my range of motion because I'm someone that's always been extremely tight. And so I always need that range of motion. The first thing that I implement is, and the first thing that I start with, is the shoulder tube. So I use the shoulder tube to kind of increase the blood flow to the entire arm, even a little bit of the scapula and a little bit of the pec as well. And uh, I go through uh, about 10 seconds of work and then I take a break and I do the other arm. So because I'm doing an upper body lift, I don't just focus on you know my dominant side arm. I'm doing both arms and then once I do 10 seconds there, I go with another 10 seconds. I do that for about five to six rounds. And uh, I even emulate sometimes like my bench press motion. I'll go ahead and do that as well. Um, and it, overall, I can just feel it start to loosen my arm and loosen my shoulder up a little bit. Second thing is going to be the bell club. The bell club is really great for kind of opening up the shoulder. It puts me in a better posture because I'm able to kind of open up with some of the exercises that I do. And it increases that range of motion, which makes it a little bit more efficient whenever I'm doing my workout. So I love doing the bell clubs. Usually, you know, I stick to just two or three exercises with the bell clubs. I don't go crazy. Um, none of this warm up, you know, should take more than five, five minutes tops for me. And so I pick a couple of exercises. I do 10 each and then I call it good. Third, I use the synthetic leather wrist weights. So I love our wrist weights um, because they're easy to clean, especially I train in my garage. So it's hot. It's steamy. It's Texas. It's over 100 degrees in there, so I'm sweaty all the time. So once I'm done with it, I know I can just wipe it clean and, and go on my way. But I love using the wrist weights. You know, I used the wrist weights whenever I was a pitcher, and it, I really saw how well it, it increased my range of motion. Um, and it, overall, I felt like it gave me a very strong and stable and functional shoulder. So I implement some of the wrist weight movements as well. I do those three things before I even pick up the barbell and then of course I usually start really light and progressively overload from there. Um, but those are three tools that I personally use every single time uh, before my upper body lifts.